735 and happening this weekend, you can join the fight against a disease affecting millions of Americans each year, including many in Oregon and Southwest Washington. The walk to end Alzheimer's is happening this Saturday, October 19th at the Oregon Zoo. It's a chance to lace up and pound the pavement in support of patient care and incredible research. Joining us in studio to talk about this year's walk and how you can be a part of a future without Alzheimer's is Hudson Tyler with the Alzheimer's Association. He's here with Wendy Bond, a longtime local volunteer and advocate. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being yeah, here. Yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks course. for having us. Well, Hudson, I know this is uh, one of your big events every year. Tell us about the Walk to End Alzheimer's and what people can expect this year at the Oregon Zoo. So Walk to End Alzheimer's is the world's largest fundraiser for Alzheimer's and dementia, care, support, and research. And this is both at the national and global uh, level and, and then also locally here with what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big deal and it's been going for a long time. Wendy, you've done this now for 34 years. Correct. So incredible. it really is. Uh, why, why is this such a, a big deal in general, but also to you personally? What's your story with this disease? Um, I have a grandmother in 80. She was not diagnosed with Alzheimer's. It was senility. So she, mm, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of, I don't know, got old that way. Hmm. And then my mom in 90, um, took care of her for 10 years, and then I had an aunt, her sister, and the brother, my uncle, and then just recently my sister's been diagnosed and a cousin. Oh, wow. My gosh. So I would just love to get to that cure so that I don't keep adding oh <laughs> right. my to my list. Right. I know you, you've seen personally the impact. I know we've learned so much, you know, in, in recent decades about Alzheimer's and dementia and, and where we are with this disease. And, and yet we are still working towards that, that cure, towards research here. Um, what do you want folks to know if they haven't had that personal impact the way you have? Why get invested in this cause? Uh, well, certainly it, it has been amazing in the 34 years that I've um, been involved and you see the progress and mm -hmm. you see all the things that are happening and all the um, advances that we're having in medicine and just, just to say the word. I mean, I remember with my grandmother, you couldn't even say that word. It was like a quiet word to say in the back of the house. You mm -hmm. know? And so just to have those family members uh, be affected by that. I've learned something. Every one of them is different, has had the disease differently. So it's just one of those things that you just know we're moving so quickly with medications coming through and all the science that's happening around it. My mom and I, we were a team of one. I mm. mean, it was me and mom. So having a team every single year is just like, well, how big can we have the team and how many more people can we get involved and give them the information? And so I'm her voice and will just continue to be that voice. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting to talk about, you know, the, the leaps and bounds that we've come, you know, on the science side of it, but even the conversation around it, the fact that what, it, what your grandmother was diagnosed as being senile, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. You couldn't say the word Alzheimer's even? No. So it's important to keep talking about it sure. with that in mind. And mm -hmm. with, with the walk coming up here, Hudson, uh, how does this money help? What does this money go toward when we're talking about how to battle this disease? Yeah, really good question. And so like I mentioned, you know, this is an impact that we're making globally, nationally, and locally. And so one of the biggest things that I'm, you know, most excited about sharing is, is our 24-7 helpline, which offers um, day or night care and support for anybody who calls that, whether you've got, you know, questions about uh, cognitive decline in yourself or a loved one, or whether you're actively caregiving and you're looking for some support and assistance, mm -hmm. really, really good. Um, and then also, you know, it, it, it funds what we do here locally um, in terms of um, all of the educational programs and mm -hmm. all of the support groups that we have all across Oregon and Southwest Washington. Um, and I'll share just really briefly that we are um, right now um, in a two-year grant where we are expanding resources to um, rural counties in Oregon um, and really making sure that we're touching communities that, you know, that don't always have access to health care. Yeah, they don't have to make that maybe two, three, four hour drive into Portland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that right. makes a lot of sense. So many great resources for so many folks here in our community, and you can be a part of uh, keeping that going here this weekend. Hudson, Wendy, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Absolutely. We were showing some fun videos, too, of previous walks. Again, it's happening at the Oregon Zoo, so it's going to be a really fun Saturday. The 2024 Walk to End Alzheimer's is happening this Saturday, October 19th, at the Oregon Zoo. Registration begins at 7 a.m. The walk gets underway around 8.30. Go to alz.org to learn more. It is 7.